Hey guys, this crypto Marie, she does it all, a little bit of everything. I'm going to give you some information about PayPay's investors that are selling PayPay's supported in Dogecoin. Now, if you guys been with me for the longest, the first initial um, people, the group of people that I have that follow me on YouTube, you know that I am the queen of the queen of selling one coin and put it in the other. Remember, this is not financial advice. Always do your own research, your own due diligence before you purchase any coin. But to tell you the truth, selling paper to put it in Dogecoin, I don't care if paper gets to five, ten dollar. I will never do that because I know paper has something in it. Paper is going to create a lot more millionaires. So let me go further to see what I can tell you guys on how they found out papers were selling. Papers investors were selling to put it in Dogecoin. Okay, it says and further confirmation investors selling paper to buy Dogecoin network growth data reveals that the former is struggling to attract new users as depicted below. Paper network growth has declined since the Doge price rally began on July 14. Indicatively, between July 14 and July 25th, net worth growth dropped by 73% from 1,703 to 463 new addresses. Again, it is really crazy to hear that people are selling, are jumping one coin to another. I mean, I have done it before, but I will never sell my paper to put it in Dogecoin, period. The price differences is too big for me. This is eight cents Dogecoin, and we're talking about five zero one eight something. Pepe, listen, I can't do it. I cannot afford to do it. I'm gonna hold on to my Pepe until the end. So it says net worth grow me measures the rate of which a blockchain network attracts new users, as observed above. A persistent decline over an extended period means. The underlying token may struggle to attract sufficient demand in subsequent weeks. Again, it shows that people are selling their paper coins to put it in Dogecoin. Why they doing it? Remember, we are supposedly in a recession. Nobody has extra cash aside just to invest in coins that are doing fantastic. And a bad habit that all of us have is buying coins when the coins are on green. We are panicking, we are uh, FOMOing out, fear of missing out. We just go ahead with our thinking heads first, like a chicken and ordering new coins or the coins that are doing really good at the moment, which is not good. We're supposed to buy when the coins is on sale, when it's on red, but at the end of the day, this is not when we buy, we make the effort, we'll sell one for the other, sometime at a loss to get the coin that is doing good but you have to think about it dogecoin once almost hit 70 cents it was a 69 cents and elon Musk say something stupid it dropped down the lowest it ever got to was four cents yes somehow he's going to put dogecoin the speculation as to some kind of payment towards x which formerly known as twitter but at the end of the day i am not going to risk my paper to put it in there because there was no way i'll get as many dogecoin as paper why would i sell at a loss to do that at the end of the day everybody can fight for themselves decide for themselves and i hope it works for them one win for a crypto investor is a win for all of us i hope they make the right decision Again, I have sold many of my coins to put in different coins. Some I have regretted. Some I'm like, it doesn't matter. I'm going to hold on to. But one thing I know, it is never good to sell all your coins. Get rid of all of it to put in something else. I always make sure I hold some of my coins. I used to have 22 billion of Elon Dougal on Mars. I sold the majority of it to put it in paper. I also had 66 billion of tonic tectonic i also sold a majority of them but i still have some left just in case something happened i'm still in the game i still can make some wine for myself 
again whether it's terra luna whether it's tonic whether it's elon dog on mars never it's never a good idea to sell completely the whole coin if you have 20 that financial advice you could sell 15 but always leave five if you have 100 sell 80 always leave 20 you need to be beneficial if something happened and you know how the crypto market is at the end of the day whenever we get back to the bull run market it doesn't matter what kind of coin you have how many you have you're gonna see green everything gonna look amazing everything gonna look fantastic i have witnessed it in 2021 i hope people don't make a mistake selling completely one coin to put in another thinking you're gonna make thousands more and at the end it doesn't work like that subscribe and let me know how you feel bye